Have you ever wanted to take your students to a museum or to look at a beautiful piece of art and don't have the budget or the time to leave the campus? Google Arts and Culture is the solution for you. So every time you come to this website, you're gonna see something different highlighted. It just so happens that today, the day I'm making this video, which is in January of 2024, the highlight is museums. And so we can just use whatever they've highlighted to start clicking through, which is what we'll do. Uh, but in subsequent videos, we will look at other features where you can dig a little bit deeper to find different resources. But we're gonna just start here. Um, let's pretend I'm a history teacher and I wanna take my students on a field trip to support a unit that we have just covered and we'll do it virtually. So here I'm gonna go ahead and choose Explore History Museums. And they've given me one to pick from. This one happens to be in Ukraine. It's established in 1893. And I can read more about this particular museum, or I can read less. As I scroll down on my screen, you're going to see that every single museum that you visit will have similar things. So you'll have the name at the top, you'll have some description, then we will have some stories related to it, so some online exhibits. If we were studying specific topics, for instance, weapons, we could come to this online exhibit and we could select this particular online exhibit and look at these digitized 3D format samples of weapons from this museum. So that's a built-in 3D tour of that particular museum. And as I scroll down, you'll see that the, the text and the images are moving up and I'm getting more information about the different resources and the different things that are in this online exhibit. I'm gonna use the back button to go back to the museum page. So underneath whatever online exhibits or stories are in that museum available, I can scroll down and I can look at individual items in the collection. And these are grouped together. So Ukraine, metal, jewelry, and I can use this arrow to see other things, gold. So if I wanted to dig in to collections or th things that are grouped by themes, I can easily do that there. Or I can come down to the bottom and look at all 155 items that this museum has as online exhibits. Notice I can organize this. So that particular icon, the fire is kind of what's trending is the icon, or I can use a timeline. So if I wanna organize it by time, it'll put it in a up against a timeline feature so I can get some additional data. The little fire icon by popularity is going to give me everything. And I can use that arrow on the right to keep scrolling to see all of the items. Now, if I wanna know where exactly does this museum fall? Like where is it in relation to other things in Ukraine? I'm gonna have a little bit of a map that shows me where I am. And if I select that map, it takes me to Google Maps where I can easily use my Pegman and we can go stand right outside of that museum. And this is a 360 image, so we can scroll around, talk about the streets in Ukraine, talk about this museum, what it looks like there from the outside either before or after you use this online exhibit to explore some of the things they have in their collection. And you simply do it by clicking on a image. 
and some of the websites have links, have way to, with ways to share this particular item. So if they wanted to save it, for instance, for a project, there's going to be a description. This one particularly has a link to um, additional resources that explain what this item is. You can use the heart to favorite it, which means that you would keep a copy of it in your favorites in this website, or you can grab a link that could be added to a hyperdoc or a project of some kind, or you could use the share option to send it to through email if you're using Google Classroom or simply copying the link there to share it as well. So with just a few clicks, we have visited a museum in Ukraine. We've looked at a particular item in its collection. We could experience a 360 degree tour of a collection of weapons that are in that museum, as well as stand in front of the museum and see what it looks like from the outside, all within the Google Arts and Culture platform.